Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths. I work in the Advanced Technology Centre in the UK as part of IBM Europe. This movie is about workload partitions, or WPAR for short, and application mobility, where we move these WPARs between machines. This is all part of AIX6. We're now going to create a workload partition, but where we have to fill in some of the more details and we can fine tune what we want. Now let's use the guided activity to create a word load partition where we can define all the details that we actually need. So these are the set of uh, steps we're going to go through and we'll quickly go through those now. So we're going to create a new workload, we'll take next. We're going to use a system workload partition, we need to give it a name. WP12 and the description here, or oh, we don't need one, we'll just put something in. Let's uh, deploy it. It needs to know which machine we want to run it on. Let's put it on 25. And we can put in two passwords. To confirm, we can start it each time the computer starts up, and we can start it immediately once it's been created. These are the rollback access control privileges. We'll just accept those and we want it to be relocatable so that we can move it to another machine if we need to. This panel enables us to start a particular application when we start the workload partition. Let's skip that for now. Now we need the network details. Let me uh, type this in by magic. This last one means that it will inherit the uh, resolve.com file from the uh, global system so we'll come up with DNS working. Next, because it's really capable, we have to define the NFS server. This mount point has already been defined on the NFS server and of course it needs to be uh, exported to any of the systems that will um, run the WPAR and to the WPAR hostname itself. Next we have a summary panel where we can check any of the details that we've typed in particularly good if you've planned ahead and you have this all on a, a sheet that you want and you fit uh, finish and we immediately be taken to the uh, task activity panel okay there we go it's just finished it took from um, 6.15 to 6.21 um, just over five minutes to uh, build us a uh, WPAR, and we should actually find that this is running. There we go. WPAR 12, and it's already active, because we click the button to say activate it as soon as it's created. In the next movie, we'll look at how to move partitions between Power 4, Power 5, and Power 6 machines.